In this video, we're going to discuss labeling a parcel. We're going to get into the detailed method for labeling the parts of a parcel, which includes labeling a individual segment of a parcel, labeling multiple segments of a parcel at the same time, changing the parcel area labels, and applying appropriate line and curve label styles. To get into the command for labeling a parcel, what you need to do is navigate to the annotate tab in the ribbon bar and drop down add labels and choose parcels, add parcel labels. Inside of add parcel labels, you have the choice of labeling type, which is single segment, multiple segment, replace multiple segments, area and replace area. We're gonna discuss single segment, multiple segment and replace area in this video. So what we're gonna go ahead and do first is we're going to label a single segment. We're gonna start here at property 11 and I'm going to choose my appropriate label style. So we can choose a line label style, which is a general line label style or a parcel line label style specific label for a bearing only, distance only, bearing over distance, just bearing and just distance. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we are going to choose bearing over distance and I'm gonna go ahead and choose an appropriate curve label style, which is either a general curve label style or a parcel curve label style. So I'm gonna go with a parcel curve label style of delta over length and radius. And the next thing that you have to do is you have to choose add. So I'm gonna go ahead and select add and then I'm going to select the segments that I want to add parcel labels to. So I'm gonna select this line, this line, this curve, this curve, this line, and this line. So I've now effectively labeled the entire parcel of property 11. Um, if I want to go ahead and do that, but faster, I can choose to label multiple segments, which is what I'm gonna do for the remaining uh, four parcels that have not been labeled yet. I'm gonna leave bearing over distance and delta over length and radius. I'm gonna choose add. And what Civil 3D is asking me to do is to select a parcel to label. So I'm gonna click the area label for the parcel I wanna label. And then it asks me if I wanna go clockwise or counterclockwise. I'm going to hit enter for clockwise. And then I'm gonna move on to the next parcel and hit enter and the next parcel and hit enter and the last parcel and hit enter. The last thing that we're going to discuss is replacing area labels. If you do not like the area label that you have currently, which we all have parcel name as the area label style, if you wanted to change it to name, area, and perimeter, name, square foot, and acre, parcel number, standard, and later we'll get into how to create these label styles, but say we wanted to change it to name, area, and perimeter, we can go ahead and select that, make sure we have replace area selected and choose add. Civil 3D is going to prompt us to select a parcel area label and we're gonna go ahead and select 13, hit enter, and it changes the label style to the name area and perimeter. Now, if I wanted to change it back to parcel name, I would just choose parcel name, select add, select the area label and hit enter. 